What's up everybody, Rodney from the Gridiron Fantasy here, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about why I play Axis Football, um, well, why I play player versus AI, despite the gameplay not being the best thing on the market. Now, I, I talk about this because I've seen a lot of people say that they only do coach mode or they only do player versus, I mean, or they only do CPU versus CPU. And for some people, that's what they want to do. Some people like playing the franchise and they only really care about doing the GM stuff or the coaching duties. And some people just don't like actually controlling the team. And also, quite frankly, not everyone is that tech savvy. I, I completely understand that. But for those of you who don't play this game because who don't play the game because the gameplay isn't where it needs to be and you are someone who wants to actually control your team and control your players i this is who this video is for that this video is for you i play the game still because i can see the i can see the direction i can see the dedication from the team i can i can see what they are trying to do and while they are lacking in some areas and while certain things like, for instance, AI could be much better, we, we, still, we still have a game that has a solid foundation, a solid base, and I believe will progress. You know, and I am definitely willing to put in however much money I need to continue to support these uh these developers into making the game of their dreams and for me to play uh, you know a great game now when i say this video is for those of you who don't play the game based off of gameplay alone here's what i would suggest to you and you can uh, by the time this video goes up you should be able to see at least one or two of my 99 overall videos so Here's what I do to make the game a lot more interesting for me. And there are some other things that I do to help compensate for the gameplay. Now, you have one of two options. One, you have house rules. And two, you have the 99 overall option that I have spoken about. The house rules probably aren't going to be what really makes you feel good about playing Axis Football. But I think the 99 overall will, especially if you play on Hall of Fame difficulty. And I say that because if you if you're playing on PC, it's a lot harder to do this on consoles, but it can be done. If you are playing on PC and you want to play against a 99 overall team, the easiest thing to do is to go into your files, go into the mods, open up the roster Excel sheet, and just start putting 99 everywhere. If you want a huge challenge, you can do a game against a 99 overall team that has a 99 speed as well. And you'll find that in some games you can win, but in other games you can't win, you know? And, and I think that when you play this game against teams that have that extra boost, the problems that you see with the AI seemingly go out of the way. Now, if you're not that good on gameplay and you find that, okay, playing as these 99 overall teams is entirely too hard, then I would definitely suggest playing against 95 overalls, 90 overalls, finding whatever suits you. I think that's what would make the biggest difference. Now, if you want to play franchise, I don't know how long those teams will be able to keep those 99 overall players, but if they can, but they will at least be able to keep most of those 99 overall players for the first mm, two to three seasons now if you're someone that wants to do a deep franchise i i'm sorry that's just that's this isn't going to help you but if you're someone who you know plays franchise and like me goes bankrupt in <laughs> two years you know that's that's a great suggestion for you but like i said the other suggestion that i have for you is that if you are not someone who can really get behind the gameplay maybe you don't have a pc or whatever house rules that is my next suggestion and i i made a previous video about my house rules and what sliders i use to produce the best quality game for me and that's going to be different for everybody but you know a lot of people just want to see what other people are doing to make their gaming experience a lot better so when you find your own home house rules i'm sorry i was going to say home rules but when you find your own house rules and you can just get that stuff done. It just it makes
makes playing the game a whole lot more fun. It makes it a lot easier. And you can still yield great stats. With the house rules that I have, my, my team still performs great. And for the most part, the other teams still perform great. But that's that's how I play. And you know, your house rule doesn't necessarily have to be tied to gameplay. Your house rule could be, okay, I'll play through the first eight games of the season, but the last eight games I have to simulate. Or I play one game, simulate one game, even if they're even if I'm in the playoffs, you know? So that's that's all I'm going to say about about it and so this is why i still play access football because on my xbox i can just do my house rules on my pc i have all the challenge i need against these 99 overall teams and it's a lot harder actually when even if you don't want to make all of their speeds 99 overalls giving a boost to the linebackers in speed is going to help you out immensely as well and when i say help you out i mean it's going to make it a little bit harder because one thing that i've noticed is that the is that when you are playing the the game, the linebackers can't really catch your faster the faster backs. And I realized because you have linebackers whose speeds are in the 40s. And running back's base speed, a starting running back's base speed might be an 80 or an 85. So those linebackers are not going to be able to catch them. So to make the game a little more realistic, I went through and actually up the speeds of all of my linebackers so that is really the final thing that i wanted to say and with that being said honestly this video was over if you have anything to say uh any comments or anything please you know let me know but that's it talk to you guys later